down in the bunch. Are you also the person who decides who's going to be doing the killing? At times. Is it difficult to find people willing to do it? I'm not in the streets. I think it's the youths. They want rank. They want to be like they are the big homies. They want to be generals. So it's a ranking thing. So if you kill somebody, you, you go up in the rank? Yeah. You get ranked by your work. And it's never stopped. Because if you kill one of mine, we kill two irons, three irons. If you kill three of mine, I try to get four irons. And it's never stopped. It's, it, the more time we spend here, the more I realize how much of an influence America has on all of it. Is there any message you'd like to give the American people? Yeah, I'd like to tell the American people, uh, maybe if the youths see that you guys that started in the thing, I try changing and helping the community and helping the people. Maybe it will be a, a change in the world. This is a moment I will never forget. Here's a general, a leader of one of the most brutal street gangs in Belize, who, by his own admission, orders young men to kill rival gang members. And he's admitting that he feels just as trapped as everybody else in the gang. So trapped that he hopes America, which sent gang violence to Belize, will somehow provide an example that will make it all go away. But America keeps providing deportees, not answers. 